going on guys grave here welcome back to call of duty modern warfare be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel gt racing they sell gaming chairs and office chairs all their information is linked down in the description today i'd like to do another best class setup and we're going to look at the f r556 or better known as the famas i got two classes here to show you first we'll go over perks and things as always just in case you guys are looking for some perks to run this is more of my Ground War class, of course, running an RPG, Cold-Blooded Ghost and Tracker, Lethal Proximity Mine, Tactical, always a stem shot for me. I always like to use stem. Uh, and the Ghost uh, class for like TDM or for like Dom or something like that, whatever you're playing, EOD, Ghost, and Tune-Up, Lethal is going to be uh, a Semtex, and of course, Tactical is going to be a stem shot. I run the 357 with the Snake Shot rounds, which is pretty handy if you do not have these yet. It is a, a pretty fun pistol to use it pretty much turns it into a shotgun but those are the kind of different perks i use depending on what modes i'm playing let's go ahead and get right into the class setup itself this first uh for my setup is going to be one without a suppressor kind of a, a loud class this is a, a pretty good class in my opinion um if you'd like to run things without a suppressor we're going to go with the fr 24.4 sniper barrel this is going to give you damage range recoil control and bullet velocity of course the downside pretty much like all of the larger barrels ADS speed and movement speed. Then we're going to go with the GI Mini Reflex. You could run whatever sight that you like, but that is the one I prefer on this. Then we're going to go, for me personally, I like the FR Ultralight Hollow Stop. This gives you aim, uh, aim walking movement speed, but a con to aiming stability. I like to be able to move around while ADS. If I'm ADS and there's a lot of enemies there and I'm using a three round burst, I definitely want to be able to kind of go between those targets quickly. So Having some movement speed while ADS is really nice. Some people like this tack wrap, which is aim down sight speed. Whichever you prefer, I just like to be able to move faster while ADS. The next thing I want to go with is the commando foregrip, which is recoil stabilization and aiming stability, a kind of movement speed. You can use the Merc foregrip or the Ranger, but so far I've had the best luck personally out of the commando. And last but not least, of course, stippled grip tape, which is aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. If you had a trouble with the recoil or something like that, you could always try the granulated or the rubberized grip tape. But I prefer the stippled grip tape to try to get that mobility back up from that barrel attachment. And as you can see, everything is in the green. We have accuracy, damage, fire, um, accuracy, damage, range, mobility, and control is all green. So everything is pretty good, in my opinion, for this setup. And the next class we're going to look at, of course, is going to be a class with a suppressor. We're going to run the monolithic suppressor, which gives us sound, sound suppression, damage range, aim down sight speed, and aim walking steadiness cons. The same barrel, the FR24.4 sniper barrel. And then we're going to go with the GI Mini Reflex again, the FR Ultra Hollow stock again. And with this class, I like to go with the Ranger foregrip. I don't know what it is, but for some reason when I run a monolithic suppressor, I like the Ranger foregrip better than the Commando. I'm not quite sure why. It may just be a placebo effect in my head. I'm not sure what it is, but something about it feels better with a monolithic suppressor. Now, of course, with a suppressor and that big barrel and the Ranger foregrip, we're going to lose a bit of mobility. So you could go with something like the uh, Merc if you want to make up for a little bit of that mobility. As you can see, the Merc foregrip puts a tiny, tiny bit of, uh, of that mobility back. Or you could just go without a grip at all but I would recommend running something here, even if you want to run just the operator for recoil control. But I really like this setup also. This is a really good setup for me for something like Shoot House because this gun performs very well at close to medium ranges. I can get a lot of one burst kills. When you start getting out a little further than medium range, that's where this gun kind of becomes finicky. Sometimes it's two bursts, sometimes it's three, sometimes it could be four. I was really hoping this was going to be like the FAMAS from Black Ops 1, if you guys remember that. That gun was absolutely awesome. This one is not quite up to par yet. Of course, we could see some buffs or nerfs to it. Who knows in the future. But right now, it's not an awful gun, but it's not a top-tier gun in my opinion. But in the right hands, if you are accurate and you can hit your shots, you will see a lot of success with this weapon. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about the FAMAS. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you have a chance, share the video. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.